What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have some Prism Basketball Blaster Boxes. This is 2021 Prism, of course. And there's always several retail formats every year. Blasters, cellos, megas, gravity feeds, retail boxes, bunch of bunch of different formats. So we're doing the blasters here. And as I get the other formats, I will review those too. I think some of them haven't even come out yet. So we're waiting on those to come in. Once again, if you have any Prism for sale, especially, you know, the gravity feeds, anything that's tougher to find, like a retail box, something like that, definitely hit me up. Uh, choice, I think, is another one, but you have those. I'm definitely interested in getting some. So, um, yeah, we're going to review these today. I'm always looking to get some more Prism to review for you guys. So, Pokoshevsky and Porter Jr. in the back. Always love Prism. Gorgeous set. Zion on the front. So, these are $20 SRP. So, if you get these at your Target, Walmart, anything like that, you're getting them for a great price. And I think they're going for about $150 at resale right now. One tip, or not really tip, but one thing I recommend. When these first came out, and with every retail product, they're going to be, I, w I won't say always, but for the most part, usually they're a little more expensive. And then as more flood onto the market, because retail is always very highly produced, then the product uh, will usually drop in price a little bit. So this, I think, you know, I saw it like 250 and 225. Now I saw it uh, at 150 and it could go down even more because there's a lot of this stuff. So if you're looking to get some resale, you might want to wait just a little bit. You know, uh, people might order online, it might come into the store a little late. And then once there's a lot on the market, then uh, that's when it drops a little bit. But look for green pulsar and purple waves. Green pulsar is 25. They get more rare every year because more boxes, same number of pulsars. One auto or mem, about one auto per case, maybe. Usually a mem card. And maybe like one patch every case or two. Those are numbers to 10, I think. You can get silvers and uh, greens too, I believe. So they also have their exclusive inserts. The emergent, I think it instant impacts the other one. And let me get this uh, off here. Instagram right there, Pac-Man cards. That and Pac-Man breaks are my only Instagrams. Anything else is not me. So especially if they're asking for any personal information, I'll never ask for that. So um, yeah, Pac-Man cards, Pac-Man breaks, my only ones. Definitely drop a follow. Check it out. We have um, you know, exclusive info, early news, all that fun stuff. Always on, on IG there. Share as much information with you guys as I can. But here's our packs. So Zion once again there. Four cards per pack, six packs per box, and. Here's kind of everything on this pack, and they put it ridiculously small, but actually this is a little bigger than usual, but uh, silvers, green, purple waves, and then purple waves are like every other usually, uh, roughly. So those pulsars, and yeah, so the autographs, uh, swatches. Sweet. Pretty cool. Inserts there too. Let's see what we can get, and hopefully we can pull some awesome stuff. We're going to be ripping a lot, of, a lot of Prism. I promise that we review this pretty much every product, everyone we can, and it's definitely a... A lot of fun, definitely pricey, but if you guys like these videos, drop a like, sub, share, comment. If you want to see more content like this, I'll uh, try to do as much as I can for you guys. And, and you know, all that support always helps and lets us do the the bigger and stuff. You know, we usually do two. I think we have three this time, but I want to hopefully get a good representation of this product. And we have a rookie right off the bat. Show me the money. A Kongwu green. I like that. All right. Josh Hart. So these are the greens. All the retail formats will have these greens. Don't know the print run. Uh, I also believe the retail box, which I never really see at retail, but those ones have the uh, the red waves that we also see in Hobby. Nice. We're on the board. I think this one has our jersey card. This one's pretty thick. But yeah, so uh, once again, thank you guys for all the support. And still coming, the um, the 100,000 sub giveaway. I was, I'm was i probably going to push that up and just do that soon because I was holding out for waiting for something else to come, but... I don't think it's going to come soon, so I'm just going to get that giveaway going by um, by itself earlier. I have no clue who this is. Okay, uh, Darren Williams. All right. Here's our jersey card. Now, they can be random guys. They can be good guys. Darren Williams. I actually like Darren Williams. I mean, I remember when he came to the Nets, and everyone here was really excited, and then it went okay. <laughs> Could have gone better, but Charles Barkley. Here's a new insert, USA. I like that. That's really nice. Clean looking set. I like that. And we have Will Barton. Cool. It's a new one, and it's a nice one. Next one up. All right, let's see what's going on. In the past years, I haven't reviewed every Prism format. I've done a lot of them, but not all of them. And I'll try my best to get, once again, all of them. And oh, James Wiseman right there. I like these. Ooh. <laughs> all right. And we have a silver behind it. Let's just see if it's a rookie or not. Quick reveal. Okay, it's not. All right. James Wiseman, Prism Rookie, Akangwu, and 
Yeah, so far, so good. I'm, I'm liking this. I always like retail. Obviously, Hobby is, what, a little under $2,000 a box. Sometimes, depending on where you're looking, it could be around $2,000. So that's very, very expensive. It's nice to still have a you know chance to get some retail at a more affordable price. You know, it's still a lot more than the SRP, but it's also not $2,000. So that's what's good about retail. Gives everyone a chance to get Prism at a slightly cheaper price depending on the format you're, you're chasing after. You got Cole Anthony, Instant Impact, so there we go. This is one we'll definitely see a lot. These retail inserts are pretty common. We only got, what, one base rookie, and it was James Wiseman, so that's a thumbs up. I always have a nice stash of Prism rookies because we rip a lot of Prism. In the past, I've ripped you know tons of, of blasters and everything, and I don't know if we'll do that high quantity this year, but hopefully I can accumulate a lot of Prism rookies, LB, all right, and Jaw, year two. All right, come on, purple wave. Historically, I haven't had the best purple wave luck. Blake Griffin, yeah. I think I pulled maybe a couple purple waves, but I've also ripped like a couple hundred blasters. So the parallels for me, I've done well with silvers, but I've never really done too well with the parallels for, for the blasters, as you guys know, but blasters are always a lot of fun. They used to be 20 bucks. Well, I mean, they still are 20 bucks at retail, but... At resale, they are, uh, they are 150 I said, right? So, yeah, I miss those days. Used to just grab, like, one blaster and yeah, I'll come back tomorrow for the next for the next blaster and come back tomorrow and they're still all there, same amount you left. Another Cole Anthony, nice. And the next day you come back again and it's still there. Miss that. All right, so one blaster down, pretty solid. I guess let's put everything here and just recap them all at the end, base here, and this is just kind of our non-base. So let's see what's in this box one down i like to once again give you guys a good look at multiple boxes because one box would be amazing one box would be terrible one box would be average and hopefully we can kind of get an idea of what that average box looks like for you guys all right let's see what's in this one maybe lamello i still don't have a lamello or an anthony edwards ripped uh i've ripped a lot price wise i only ripped that only equaled about a box and a no two and a half boxes haven't hit one yet. So we are. Hmm? So nice we got him twice. Well, how about that? Hmm. Okay, make sure it's not a, not a surprise in there. All right, Mr. James Wiseman. Wow, so I'm I'm the Wiseman magnet. Let's just say say what it is. I pull so much Wiseman, and he's a good player, so I'm definitely happy about that. But we pulled. We haven't pulled too much of Ant and Lamello, but we pulled tons of Wiseman in terms of like you know big cards of him. So definitely grateful for that. That's not another Kongu, is it? Denny Avdia Green, bro. What the? No way. Okay. Well, how about that? Denny Avdia Green. Huh. I mean, all right. Let's not stop now. Here's our our thick pack. It's almost like. They advertise that one auto, but as someone who's ripped full cases of, you know, one full sealed case several times, I've seen about like an auto, like singular. So once again, don't get your hopes up. If you do get one, congratulations. I don't know. Uh, Boogie Cousins? Oh, Demarcus. C ah, yeah, no, I got that wrong. Doug McDermott. <laughs> All right. And got an Isaac Okoro there. So there's our jersey card. And Big Zoo. Those those uh, silver ones, which would be the patch ones to 10. Those ones are really nice. Not not common, but I like those. I like those a lot. Never pulled one. I've seen people pull them before, and it's just a really rare pull. So congrats if you get one. Ah. Oh, good, good thing we didn't show the bottom. And we got Mellow, and we got a Timberwolf. Oh my goodness, look at that. Timberwolf and Mellow. All right, last three packs from this blaster. I'm liking these blasters a lot. All right, let's see what we got. Another silver here. And we're, let's just quick reveal this one. Boom. Okay, Zeke Naji Emergent Silver. Now, the the inserts are definitely not as popular as the base ones. I've, for example, like I have a Luca. Uh, I never pulled a Luca Silver from his rookie year, despite ripping like a gajillion boxes. 
but I did pull an insert silver and it's definitely not as in close to as valuable as like the base, but it's still cool. Getting a rookie silver is nice. Last year I pulled the Zion silver insert from the silver insert magnet too. That and Wiseman and Bane. Ah, oh, and uh, okay. Come on. Come on, rookie. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a Hornet too. We're doing the quick reveal. We started doing this in the Pac-Man break streams on my second channel, Pac-Man breaks link down below, uh, because the trolling it's, it's got to stop. It's getting out of hand and we had to take matters into our own hands. And we just, we're doing a lot of quick reveals because I don't want to see Hornets and get Bismack Biombo. I don't want to see uh, James Johnson after I see Timberwolves. You guys know how it is. It's it just, it takes a toll, man. <laughs> it's rough. I think we could probably have a rookie insert here. We've got Maze. Anthony Edwards. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. And another Timberwolf. All right. So my first Anthony Edwards prism card, I believe. I prepared a sleeve for you, my friend. Any chance you got your uh, your buddy the base one over, over in this box, maybe? Let's see. All right. And I don't think I showed you guys with the... There's with the wrapping moved, but those green pulsars are are extremely, extremely rare, man. I, I would love to pull one of those. I'm not ripping as many as I ripped last year, so if I pull one, it, it'll be crazy defying the odds. Because you know how hard that chase was last year for the green pulsars, and yeah, haven't had the best the best luck finding those. Okay, let's see what's in this one. We need a. A silver Lamello. All right, we're getting a green rookie again. Are we going three for three? No, no. Hassan Whiteside. Ah. There goes the streak. Ended at two. I'm grateful I got two, though. So, still very happy about that. And here's our jersey card. Patch Lamello to 10 incoming. Boom. Terrence Ross. That's, that's got to be some sort of error card because instead of Omelo, they put Terrence Ross's name, and that's not Omelo's picture. Hmm. Oh, and a Kongwu. Terrence Ross. Okay. Kongwu there and Landry Shamit. Oh, here's a little security. You might find these. These are little security things. I just toss them. All right. A few packs left. Ripping Prism. Always a blessing. Always a lot of fun. One of my favorites to rip. And we're going to pull a big silver right here. And it's going to stay. Oh, okay. Tyler Bay. It's going to stay my favorite because boom. Jay Crowder. Okay. All right, we still haven't gotten. I feel like usually you might get a rookie parallel of some sort. I think. I hope. Maybe. Maybe this one. Not so much. But you know what? We're not giving up. Right here. Tyrese Maxi insert. And a lot of base. Two packs left. Blaster 3. Not being too nice. Come on, Blaster 3. Everyone's watching. Okay. Uh, I'll get what you're doing, Blaster 3. He's... <laughs> as a boogie. Alright, he, he's saving it for the for the purple wave. Bold strategy, but I like it. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. He's... Lost the good luck mojo. All right, last pack. Then there was one so far. Pulled some sweet cards already. And let's see if we can add to that. Come on, Blasters. And after this, we will recap, and I'll give my thoughts and kind of review on this format. We will rip some more, of course. You guys want to see more prison videos? You know, I don't know for what the whole plan is because it's just very up in the air right now. But whether we'll have... I don't know if we're still doing prison week. I don't know if we're doing, you know, retail versus hobby, stuff like that. Could come, could not. Really just don't know, so... Stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Clyde Drexler. And... Okay, so that blaster was not too good. We have... Okay, now this guy... This time I do see it. Pascal, Kevin Looney combines to make one sweet eBay one of one error card. And Clyde Drexler there. Does it for a blaster. So if you got these at retail, you paid 60 bucks, obviously before tax and everything like that. Dub. Now, if you're paying resale, then... What four fifty? It's still much much cheaper than than hobby. That's like two packs of hobby, or like two and a half packs of hobby. Three, I don't know. But here's what we got, 
And we got these cool new USA inserts, Clyde Drexler. We got Derek Favors, boom. Azabuki, boom times two. I mean, this thing was crazy. Tyrese Maxey, Jay Crowder. Woo, that's going to mag. And yeah, th this was all Blaster 3. Blaster 3, I don't know. They, they weren't feeling us today, so that's okay. Next time. Ant-Man, yes, sir. We got Desmond Bain. Obviously, that's $1,000. Zeke Najee. We got... What else do we got? We got come on. We're, we're, there we go. Jeez. All in the back. I promise you there was something to look forward to. There we go. Avdia Green. Wiseman. I wonder if we have another one. Cole Anthony. Got LB. John Morant, your two. That's nice for my collection there. Uh, Cole Anthony. James Wiseman. So nice we got him twice. Charles Barkley. And... Okongwu. So let's grab these. How is one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, let's grab these ones. I, I can't. I can't make a decision. Actually, you know what? Here we, we can take the silver Naji off, and we'll put the Bane down for now, only because so you can actually see all the cards. So overall, Blaster is a lot of fun. Obviously, not everyone wants to make a two thousand dollar, I guess, purchase into Prism. It's a, definitely a big investment, but a lot of money to put down. And Blasters are a nice alternative. There are once again are cellos, hangers, and I should have reviews for those as soon as possible. So. Stay tuned to the channel. Those are definitely coming. A lot of great content coming soon. New products, uh, new, you know, mail days. An exciting mail day. One that is probably mail day for the ages. But always fun stuff. Love ripping Prism. And if you get some for yourself, best of luck. These blasters at 150 and they could be dropping in price a little more. I would say they're about, I would give them, I'm going to give them an, a 7.75. I almost gave them an 8, but I'm going to say 7.75. Only because... There's a lot more produced. I feel like pulling a lot of those, the bigger cards, like that, those ceiling cards is 10 times harder. And last year they were 10 times harder. And the year before that, 10 times harder. So I'll say 775, a lot of fun. Get these Avdias, these Wisemans, and you get those Prism rookies, much less investment than $2,000 for a hobby box. So stay tuned for those other formats. If you get some for yourself, best of luck. If you haven't already, show that support in the videos and we can get tons of more stuff coming, review all the formats, show you guys what's uh, what's good with each one, what's good, what's bad, what we like, what we don't like. So that's for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, sub, and uh, share, comment. Appreciate it as always. I'll see you guys later.